Well, good morning. Uh, today I am going to talk about my sailing canoe conversion. I did a video on this canoe conversion uh, when I was still partway through the conversion. Uh, and at this point now, uh, I've been sailing the boat for uh, a couple of years and I've got a lot of the bugs worked out and I've made some changes from uh, the original conversion. So I just thought I'd go through uh, everything one step at a time. So the uh, first of all, the hull is uh, the canoe itself is a aluminum uh, Grumman 17 double ender uh, built in the 1960s. I think the Grumman uh, 17 hull is a great hull for uh, sailing conversion. They're, they're strong, uh, rugged boats uh, that have good initial stability. They're beamy. They've got lots of space. The, uh, the, the boat has been great. Okay, like I said, uh, 1960s aluminum Grumman 17. Uh, that's the stern seat. Uh, the aft thwart, middle thwart. Uh, the uh, center bench seat uh, is an addition to the original. Uh, so two people can sit side by side on that. So we sail this boat with uh, up to four people, two adults and two kids. That's the front seat and the bow and you can see some holes and rigging in the bow that's so i can add a falcon sail as well uh, this boat has a keel the keel is structural uh, but i do think it helps with uh, the boat's tracking and sailing ability as well All right, now let's take a look at the sail rig itself. The sail rig is a Bala Sail Designs or BSD, uh, 36 square feet. Uh, it's roughly based on a junk rig. So uh, it's got the horizontal battens and maintains its shape when reefed. Uh, it goes up the mast on a halyard. It's got two reef point zipper reefing. So the sail area can be reduced quite a bit. I've found the performance to be good. And the sail rig breaks down into about, is it three or four foot sections and all goes into a bag. I think it weighs 16 pounds. So it'll go in the trunk of your car with the canoe on the roof. So there's no need to trailer anything here. Everything's fairly light and compact. Take a closer look here. Okay, so it's a aluminum crossbar. You just need to drill two holes uh, to uh, attach the crossbar to the gunnels and then I attach the mass base with uh, G-Flex epoxy. Then the other critical part of the sail rig is the lee board. Uh, canoes and kayaks won't generally sail upwind without the lee board. So the lee board is a uh, foil. It acts, I guess, kind of like a keel or a center board. So it pivots. Uh, if you hit a rock, it'll pivot up. And then you put it back down. It's a wood. Uh, the lee board is 36 inches uh, long. Okay, so let's take a look at those sail controls. So, like I said, this is the, uh, the sheeting here. So to sail the boat, I can sit in the middle here if I'm solo and uh, control the sheet from there, okay? Or if I'm sailing the boat tandem or four up, then the sheet can be controlled from the stern seat, okay? So the boat can be sailed either from the middle or from the stern seat. I mentioned the halyard. This is the halyard here. Okay, so this raises and lowers the sail, just like on any regular sailboat. Reefing system. So reefing is reducing sail area, so you can continue to grow, uh, sail as the uh, wind speed increases. Um, so what I do 
is when the wind speed hits about 15 knots, I put in a single reef. When the wind speed hits about 20 knots, I put in double reef and I can continue sailing up into the high 20s, close to 30 knots with uh, the double reef. Um, it's, it's pretty easy to do, it's a good system. Okay, and there it is, double reefed. So you can sail on a lot of wind like that. So it's two fast X fasteners and two zippers to do a double reef. Uh, Uh, okay, so now we've shown the sail, the hull, uh, the lee board, and we need to look at the rudder. So this is the rudder. This is a uh, also a BSD rudder, Bala Sails Designs. I'll put the uh, I'll put the link in the description, the video description. So aluminum flat plate aluminum rudder. Okay, and this is cable steering. So we use ropes, and again. I can operate the ropes from the back seat or from the center of the boat. Steering is a simple matter of pull on the rope and the rudder turns. That's all there is to it. Outriggers. Uh, so these are inflatable outriggers. I've calculated that they're about 44 pounds of buoyancy each. And they're, it's an 8 foot crossbar so they're on a 4 foot lever. Uh, I've had these for several years. They've been good. I bought them off Amazon. Uh, you just blow them up with your mouth. Uh, they get really small for storage. The boat can be sailed with or without them. It's on quick release pins. So if you go into a lock or up beside a dock, you can pull the uh, outriggers off. In light winds, I sail without them. If it's rough, I sail with them. Okay, There's the, look at the quick release pin. And there is the outboard motor. Now this is, I usually don't use the gas outboard, but uh, I've got a trip coming up where I'm going to be um, sailing near the top of a, uh, a large hydroelectric dam and there's considerable current in the river. So it's nice to be able to motor up against the current if uh, the wind dies or is coming from direction, the wrong direction. So that's uh, that's an aluminum motor mount i don't have a link for that and a honda 2.3 four stroke air cooled uh that weighs about 30 something pounds and then i have uh i use fenders for flotation underneath the middle seat i find with those fenders when the boat capsizes it sits high enough that it's uh, pretty easy to self-rescue all right thank you that's uh Sailing canoe conversion using a Grumman 17 and a BSD 36 bat wing sail.